So let's take a moment and talk about something that's really got a lot of debate about what to do as in the right way or the wrong way, and that would be applying anti-seize to spark plug threads. You're gonna see a lot of information on the internet saying, yes, I should, no, you should not. Let's settle the debate once for all. Anti-seize or no anti-seize on spark plug threads. This video is sponsored by Autolite, manufacturers of high quality spark plugs since 1935. Visit autolite.com for more information. First off, most of us tech know that anti-seize is a compound that we're gonna be using commonly on fasteners to prevent the threads from becoming galled, damaged, uh, especially when we're talking about two dissimilar metals involved. People that live in locations where corrosion is a persistent issue, anti-seize is really an invaluable tool that we use to help these thread damage and contamination from corrosion. And it also, again, will help us in future disassembly of our components. So, should we apply anti-seize to spark plug threads? No. Well, why not? One thing that most people don't realize is that by using anti-seize on our spark plugs, you're going to reduce your torque value from anywhere from 25 to 30%. When that occurs, you have a tendency to over-tighten that spark plug. Over-tightening that spark plug could cause in breakage of the plug itself when you're putting it in. Again, you're going to be decreasing the required torque to achieve the same thing if you didn't have that anti-seize on the spark plugs. Anytime we're using anti-seize, it acts as a lubricant and those lubricating properties will significantly decrease the required torque to achieve the desired clamping force. Using anti-seize without reducing the required torque value can strip the threads or stretch the bolt in extreme situations. Can also cause over tightening of the spark plug and possibly worst case scenario, breakage of the plug. Over tightening can also distort the spark plug shell, causing a leak which would allow blow by to pass through the gasket seal between the shell and the insulator. One thing also that a lot of people don't realize is that it can also affect the grounding ability of the spark plug, and that's very important to today's higher voltage ignition systems. Virtually all spark plugs today now feature a special anti-seizure nickel or zinc chromate shell plating. Basically, you can think of that plating as a replacement for anti-seize that we may have used in the past. Another very important thing to realize is that most spark plug manufacturers do not recommend the use of it when installing new spark plugs. Also, when referring to service maintenance manuals, you're not gonna see very many mention of applying it to spark plugs when replacing the plugs. My final recommendation is go ahead and clean the threads with a quality thread chaser before installing them dry on the head. My name is Joe Keen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.